What's up guys welcome to a new video in my channel and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to install car modes into Grand Theft Auto 5. So without any more further delay let's jump straight into the video. So before that you need to download a couple of things so I'll put the link in the description so you can download each one of them and also I'll put some timestamps there so if you have already downloaded and installed some of the parts then you can just skip those parts and move to the next part so that you don't need to waste your time watching again the same thing. So I'll show you what guys what's need to be downloaded first. Uh, so first of all you need to download something called script hook. Uh, v.net and script hook v and then you need to download open iv and then you can download any of the car mode so i'll show you guys if you go into grant like uh, gdf5modes.com this is a website where you can download car modes and other uh, scripts or pedestrian whatever you want you can download it from here then you can go to this section called vehicles then from here you can download any car modes that you want but for this video purpose i'm going to use this toyota supra a90 pandem you know it's a long name but still i like the model so i thought of like uh, show you guys how how i install the car mode into grand theft auto 5 so then you need a couple of other files called heap limit adjuster and then heap adjuster then game config these three are some config file i'll show you guys how to install each one of them and then also we need a trainer so in this video i'm going to show a uh, menu so this is a one of the best trainer out there but if you already have some trainer like native trainer or something trainer v5 or something like that then you can skip this part you don't have to install this uh trainer in order to get the car but this is basically uh you use to spawn the car so i hope you understand why we are using each one of these files so you can go straight into the description download each one of them and keep it in one folder so, yes guys i hope you guys already downloaded the files so if you downloaded them you can just put into one folder so i already done that i just downloaded each one of these modes and then put it into one folder and you can also do it same way so first of all we will be installing this script hook v.net i so once you download them you will get it in a zip file but you need to unzip them and put it in your folder i would prefer you to use winrar for this purpose you can use winzip so once you unzip them you can just go into that folder so there you can find a couple of files so in this one uh, the important ones are like script hook uh, v.net.asi then there is something called script hook v.net 2.dll and the other one is script hook v.net 3.dll so you need to copy all this like three of these files so i'll show you uh, i'm just going to minimize this and then you need to open uh, grand theft auto 5 so if you don't know how to uh, where your grand theft auto 5 is you can just simply uh, search for grand theft auto or if you may probably have it in your desktop then you can right click and then open file location and then you can find your uh, folder uh, it there is i'm not showing it because if you are using a steam version it's completely different from the rockstar version that i'm using right now uh, but anyway once you find the grand theft auto folder what you need to do is just uh, select three of them and then drag and drop them into this folder so in my case i already have them in my folder that's why uh, should i replace or skip uh, i can just replace them uh, for the sake of this video so the next thing is going to be script hook dot uh, this is not dot net this is script hook v uh, i don't know what is the difference between them basically if you know then uh, comment below anyway so the se second thing is that you need to go into this folder called bin so double click on it there you can find three files this is d input a dot dll and script hook v dot dll and also native trainer dot asi so you can you, you you already have a native trainer in this one but we are not going to use that because we already have menu trainer uh, in our downloaded folder so i'll just copy paste this into this uh folder and it will ask me to replace i'll do replace yes that's it cool so you're done with uh script hook 5 and script hook dot net so once you've done that you can just go back to the folder where you have all the modes and the next thing is that you need to install open iv so if you download it and save it into that folder you can find it like a ovi setup it's not called open iv so you can just click on it and then it will ask which language you want just go with english and uh, and it may take some time uh it's preparing something then you can uh, 
agree to the terms and conditions click continue and it will ask you to download something just click on yes and it will take some time to download the, that thing it's almost around 19 mb it depends on your internet speed uh, how much time it will take i i don't think mine won't take that much time so we will wait i'm not going to skip forward uh, so yeah so now it's downloaded now it's installing that uh, particular things that downloaded by open iv so once it's, once it is done you can just close it and that's it so what happened <laughs> you just install something called open iv if you go to search then you can find go there and search for open iv so you can find open iv there so that's it now a software a application like this opens where it has to select one of the game so we are obviously going to select grand theft auto 5 windows and it will ask where your game is so best thing is that if you already open the file uh like if, if you already open the grand theft auto 5 folder then go to the top and copy this location paste it here i hope it's not possible but if it's not possible then click on the browse then you can just paste it here then click on enter it will takes you to the folder once you are in the folder you don't need to open anything just open the main folder and select folder and that is it now you just click on continue and you can just click, in, click on continue again and it may search for some encryption key i don't know what is this but it will just take some time it won't take that much time but it is searching for something in that folder fine we'll wait and see so it's starting now hope it's opening yes so grand theft auto 5 is opened in open iv so basically it looks like a folder that's it so what you need to do is you need to go to there's a folder called update so go to that update folder then you need to go into this update.rpf then it will say something like edit mode okay just go edit mode and click on yes so now what it says is that uh, you don't have a folder called modes modes folder just click on this key and it will just copy particular files into a folder called modes if if i move this uh, application i i don't think i will be able to move it but yeah if i if i go to uh this grand theft order 5 folder you can find a new folder called modes so if i go into that i can see update uh, in it fine now what you need to do is uh, i hope you are already in this folder like uh, update rpf you can just go back and uh, so you're done with that part there so you can just minimize this and now what you need to do is you need to go into the uh, mo like the car model that you downloaded in my case i downloaded to toyota supra a90 pandem i know it's a long name why do you do that fine so just go into that always make sure that uh your your car model is add-on not replacement so once that is there uh, there are different versions so always make sure that in order to uh make sure that your game won't crash you just always read the readme file so in this one uh they haven't mentioned anything so i think it's fine it's not require any extra files so it's good to go you can go to gta 5 there we have a 90 pit cool so this is the car model so you need to go back to grand theft auto 5 now go back and in updates folder just go in, into that and then you can find x uh, x64 then there is a dlc so what you need to, so you have a lot of dlc already installed so we will open the same folder in open iv you just go to open mods folder right click and create new folders with and name it x64 so basically we are just creating the same folder like x64 uh, then go inside the x64 then create a new folder and call it dlc packs cool okay so once that is done you have something like uh, mods inside mods there will be two files one is update and the other one is going to x64 go into x64 and inside that dlc packs is there which will be empty fine now what you need to do is just select this one so select this uh, car model and drag and drop into that folder so this is why i ask you to use winrar instead of 7zip or winzip because from directly from winrar you can copy and paste into uh, the game uh, this open iv so it's supported that's why so it's done now you can just close it but before that uh, make sure that you copy the name of this folder just click on rename copy it and then you can just close it so a90 bit 
What you need to do is just go back to mods folder inside OpenIV and then go into updates and in update.rpf click on it and then you can find something like common. So go into common data and if you go down a little bit you can find something called DLC list.xml. Just right click on it and click on edit. So if you haven't enabled edit then it will ask you to enable edit so you need to enable that. Uh, then you need to go down. Uh, so there are a lot of modes there so what you need to do is just go to the last line and put your cursor in middle and then press ctrl d so that will duplicate the last line then then paste the name like a90 pit or whatever the name you don't need to put a90 pit there what is a file name like the folder name of that mode that you download the car mode that you download you just paste it here then click on save that's it and sometimes if, if the car mode is good, then they will also put the whole thing in that readme file. That's why I ask you to always check the readme file. It will be much easier for you. Fine. So we are done with that part. Now you can just come back. So we are done with the car model. And so what is next? So next thing is we need to install a couple of things like uh, supporting things. Basically, I need to install heap limit adjuster and then heap adjuster and then game config. So let's do it one by one. So we will install heap limit adjuster first. So if you already have that downloaded, then it's going to be something called heap limit adjuster. It's I think this is it. So yeah, if you go inside that folder, you can find gtfi.heap adjuster.asi copy and paste it into the folder uh yes oh no sorry you shouldn't paste it into this folder you should paste this into the main directory so grand theft auto 5 just copy and paste it and it will ask me to replace i'll do replacement fine cool so i'll just go close this one the next thing is heap adjuster in what is this called yeah fine you just copy each one of them and then paste it into the folder so we are done with both heap adjusters and now it's time for us to install config file so for installing config file you need to open open iv again and you need to come back to for mods and then go into update update.rpf common data if you go down a little bit you can find something good called gameconfig.xml and if you want to make sure that the same thing is there or you copy it, then you should make sure that this is like this co compressed encrypted so if you haven't copied or if you are having modified the game config file then it will be like this compressed uh, then encrypted so what you need to do is just go inside uh, this gtfi config v26.7 Oh, sorry uh like that then you can close this one and inside that you can find three folders in in that you just go to gtfi config this folder and there are a lot of a uh, lot of folders you don't need to mess with anything you just go into this talk and then you can just select select this one you can just drag and drop into this folder so if it is properly pasted then you don't get any prompt or anything replacement prompt or anything but you can see that now the compressed encrypted changes to compressed only so that means it's edited so you can just close it now now uh, we have done with the heap adjuster gtfi config the sec the last thing is going to be our trainer so if you already have a trainer then you can move into the game and try out this model uh, but yeah in my case uh, i need to install this also so what i will do is just uh, uh, go back to the folder gtfi folder then i'll just select each one of them like um, a menu stuff and menu.asi and then i just paste it into the folder that's it guys uh, we have installed all the files into gtfi and now you can just close this open iv and start the game and see yes guys we are inside grand theft auto 5 now so now first of all i want to try whether menu trainer is installed for that you need to press on f8 key or function 8 whatever you want to call just click on it and then you will see something like this in case if it's not showing anything like this then you're getting a message in the left bottom side saying something related to menu then you need to click on it one more time f8 key then you will get this trainer fine so now we can just go down there is something called vehicle option if you don't know how to how to navigate around this ui then you can just use your up and down arrow i think you can also use your num key eight for going up and two to going down i need to move every other way this person will hit me now click on click on enter 
this vehicle options then i can go down and i can find vehicle spawner if i go down i can find something called input model enter that and now i need to enter the name so remember the name of the folder uh, it was a 90 bit for me but in your case it may be different so make sure that you enter the folder name here then click on enter fine we have the car great so yeah uh, so this is it so this is the supra uh what was the name i i, I forgot it but this is the car it's looking gorgeous guys and uh, yes i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do so please like this video so that uh, others can also find this video uh, there are a lot of other videos about installing mods but not showing everything many people are facing something like uh, uh, game crashing so if you are also facing that issue then make sure that you install that heap files and also the game config properly so make sure that uh, and also if you like to see more grand theft auto mods then comment below i'll make them uh, so if you like the graphics of this game so i using some graphic mods if you like to see how to install these mods then please comment below I, I will show you how to do that and hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel and also turn on that bell icon thanks for watching see you soon in another video bye